Hey you all, my name is Danny Thomas Vang, and I just got back to San Francisco area, spent a couple of days down in Southern California before coming back up here, and my mom and brother took me to the gym, and we went indoor skydiving. Let's get started. For the last couple of years or so, my brother and I have always had this very competitive spirit where we always try to one-up each other whenever it comes to physical activities, whether it be running, biking, going to the gym, whatever it may be, it's always who can surpass each other. And when I came back from Arizona, I had found out that he's been going to the gym for the last two years, and I was like, okay, let's see who can go and lift more weights. Naturally, obviously, he was able to do more than me, and I found out that I am very far behind. And that's just because one, I'm very out of shape, and two, I'm very skinny for my size. So with a little bit of external motivation to say the least, I have decided to start going to the gym and hopefully gain some weight. Um, I just met my roommate out here in San Francisco and he was able to gain like 50 pounds in a year or so. So he's going to put me on like a regimen and we are going to see if it works out. <laughs> I'll keep you all updated. But. I had an enjoyable time going to the gym with my family members. It always reminds me of how energetic and involved they are and how I am not. <laughs> so hopefully I am able to maintain this. We're going to indoor skydiving. I fly. Actually, I'll be in I'll slowly you a bit. <laughs> We're about to go in. All right, let's get started. My brother and I have always known that my mom wants to eventually go skydiving, but both of us are very afraid of heights, so that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. Sorry about that. <laughs> but we decided to take her to indoor skydiving at iFly in Ontario, California instead. What's cool about this place is that they offer virtual reality helmets in order to simulate a real flight. So you put on a helmet that goes around your head as well as your face. You see a screen and on that screen, wherever you rotate your head, it shows the scenery of a specific location. So you are able to look downwards and it looks like you're falling through the sky from whether it be Hawaii, Southern California, the Swiss Alps, or any of the other places that they offer. Each one of us got three flights. So one where it was just a conventional flight, you're trying to maintain a flat body and just float there. The second one where you do a standard flight with a high fly, which is where the person that's in there making sure you don't fall or hurt yourself brings you up maybe around 20 feet up in the air. And the third one is the virtual reality flight where you have the helmet and it simulates you're actually falling through the sky over a geographical location. To be honest, the most difficult part about the flight was breathing. And what I mean by that was you have around 90 miles per hour of wind to 160 miles per wind, just depending on your weight, just blowing at your body and face. And that really makes your breathing strange because whenever you open your nose or mouth, you just feel a bunch of air just go through your nostrils or your esophagus. And it's a very uncomfortable feeling. So. I ended up growing very stiff because I held my breath and because of that, that would make me very uneven because you're supposed to be as relaxed as possible. Now <laughs> this was the same situation with my mom and brother. My mom held her breath and my brother, he did that as well. As a result, he ended up feeling very nauseous after the first flight. Um, but I ended up just doing the conventional breathing pattern, you know, breathe in with my nose, breathe out with my mouth, leave my mouth a little open so that it makes it a little bit easier. It was a little strange, I'm sure, looking at me visually, but it helped me stabilize myself. My <laughs> brother ended up doing the same thing, but he, <laughs> I guess, took it to the extreme because slobber and spit ended up coming up and onto his face because his mouth was open and the wind just was just blowing it at him. So once we had our breathing pattern stabilized, <laughs> it was a matter of can we keep balance? So sometimes we fell. Um, actually, to be honest, the only person that ended up falling was my brother. Overall, everyone had an enjoyable time and I personally look forward to our next adventure. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons, and see you all next time.